1230 Pacific on CBS. LSU in Florida. I don't get the move. We gave out LSU minus two earlier in the week. Open three, down to two, two and a half, some support for Florida at home. 43 and a half, the total should be a low scoring game. I will take Burrow over Franks. Uh, Eddie Ogeron, Foghorn Leghorn doing a good job this year. The blowout win against Miami on a neutral. They went to Auburn and rallied after they were down double digits in the second half. They looked great last week against Ole Miss. And Florida played a good, it was a tough game though. That was the Dan Mullen Bowl last week. Their defense was awesome, but I think if we go back and look, maybe Mississippi State and Joe Moorhead have all these issues with Fitzgerald on offense. They haven't they've cracked uh, haven't cracked more than 10 points in the last couple of weeks. So great job by Florida defensively, but they only scored 13 points in the win on the road. It's going to be hard to score against LSU. I like LSU in this one, but should be a fun game, low scoring game in this one. And what do you think of the spot as LSU's off an easy win and Florida had the the 13 to six slobber knocker against Miss State, as you know, they were fired up with Mullen going against his former uh, former team. Yeah, I mean, it's a clear LSU spot. And we're continuing to see the LSU Tigers as a team that hasn't fully been accepted by the betting marketplace as an elite squad. And a lot of that comes, you know, due to the quarterback position. I mean, there's not a lot of love for Joe Burrow out there. Burrow's not a second-tier guy. We're talking about a guy who was uh, at Ohio State. Uh, and. Has uh, certainly played very, very well in early season action at LSU, including rallying his team from behind from a double-digit deficit to win at Auburn. And Auburn's a tougher environment than the Swamp is. The Swamp is not one of the stronger home fields. We think about it as one of the stronger home fields. It has been. The Gators have been struggling to sell out. You know, Mullen uh, challenging the fans. you got to get out here and make some noise. Tons of empty seats. Even that SEC opener against Kentucky, Another game where that Florida offense couldn't move the football. Plenty of empty seats. We're watching Felipe Franks. I'm with you on which quarterback I want. That being said, worth noting, Florida's already equaled their win total uh, from last year, and it's all about yeah. defense. You know, number two in the FBS in pass defense. Um, uh, number, uh, I mean, just uh, really good numbers. However, worth noting, LSU. On the offensive line, a couple of injuries. Two guys who were very questionable. Looks like they're going to be good. Starting left tackle, Sadiq Charles should be ready to go against Florida. And Lloyd Cushenberry also expected to play. Originally, he was listed very questionable. It's worth noting that Tigers team has used a different combo on the offensive line in every game this season. But <laughs> with this duo back in, that's supposedly their proper offensive line. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.